Welcome back to another video everyone. So in the last video I made some really good progress with the ultimate villager mansion. There's a lot more villagers in here now as you can see they are still breeding because I robbed sorry borrowed some food from another village and I fed all of my villagers with it. You know I put some more work blocks down. We've got a librarian, got a cartographer, we've got multiple cartographers. I think I've placed three cartography tables down right now. I am going to get rid of these beds still because it looks a bit messy. I'm going to put them in here. In fact why don't I do that now because my inventory is completely full again. I don't need this many totem oven dyings on me. I'll just put some in the chest. And yeah, I just made a lot of progress in the last video. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I do feel like they might be a bit repetitive because making this mansion the ultimate villager home is a lengthy process. It's going to it's going to take a bunch of videos. I'm enjoying doing it. I'm just hoping you're enjoying watching it. Oh, I need to get some more wood, but we'll we'll use this for now. I just want to make more. I can make 7 looms and I'm going to do that. Just because I want the villagers to do this really go around the whole first floor. The only way they'll do that is if you place work blocks down for them to actually go over to. I've not had much success with the bed so far. It seems like they still sleep in the same bedroom instead of that massive one that I built. But maybe they'll use that bedroom when they're up that side of the village for work. This small little room here is going to be a work room just full of work blocks. I don't like all these stone structures in the rooms. It just it's a bit messy. Not really my style to be honest with you. I'm also going to go looking in a different direction today for another village. You know, just for more food, more work blocks. Although, I did get a good idea in my comments. One of you guys told me that if you make a farm or a farmer or something, he'll feed all of the villagers automatically so I don't have to do anything. That sounds perfect and I need to do that. I'm going to spread these looms out because I want to put other things in between. This is the complete other end of the first floor. So if they come up this side, then it's successful. I don't know if this will delete the cartographer that I have, but I'm going to put that in here. I don't like things on the side, but I just did. Okay, yeah, it's working. Like this, I'm going to get get rid of this. I, I really do not like this. I said that they weren't using the bedroom, but it looks like they are. So I want to make more. Oh, I can make another loom. Do I want to make another loom? Cartography blocks are easy to make. You only need paper. When I go out looking for a village, I'm sure I'm going to find a lot of sugarcane, so I'll make them later. What else can I make though? Fletching table. What is that? Flint? You only need iron for this, so I can actually make some of them. I'll do that now. But we don't have wood though. Uh, I've got a little bit there, but I think that's it. It's not not a problem. I mean, I can go outside. We live in a jungle. That I'll get rid of. I need like a dedicated area down here for uh, work blocks. So I'll put them in here. I'll get rid of some of this. There's not much going on on this side of the first floor. It's really just one room. Okay, that's looking a lot cleaner now that I've got rid of that. I'll put two things here. You know, just so the villager isn't working on his own. Got like a little buddy. I, I need to sort this out. This is still a mess. This pickaxe is about to break. I'm just debating. Should I get rid of all of this cobblestone or what? You know what? I will. I will. Wish I had an efficiency diamond pickaxe right now. That would be fantastic. I'm level 34 as well, so I could probably get one. It's better to work on it during the night, you know, when the villagers are sleeping and they're not using the room. Because last time I was trying to do this when they were working, I accidentally hit one of them. And that didn't go down too well with the iron golems. Ah, oh, it's daytime. They're coming in. Do not get in the way of my iron pickaxe this time. I'm just trying to make this place better for you guys. Hey, but at least they're using this area though. Because, you know, it's a bit different to a village. It's bigger than a village. It's a wider area. So I wasn't too sure if they were even going to use the whole thing. I'm going to make a farm though. I'm not that good at farming and making food in this game. But I need to make some sort of farm. Whether it's automatic. Whoa, you <sighs> nearly had the iron golems on me then, mate. Yes, they're using it. They're using the room. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Let's go out. I'm going to go get some wood. Again, there's an abundance of wood out here. Yeah, that's enough. We can always come back out here. Okay, so I've not really explored in this direction before. I've always done it the other side, you know, where the sand village was. So let's go this way. We might find a village. It's nice and open. Very easy to see. Oh yeah, here's a bunch of sugarcane. Looks like I'm going to be making a bunch of cartographers when I get back. Don't really need cartographers now that I'm at a woodland mansion, but I just want the village to be doing something. All right, we don't seem to have came across anything. I I don't really want to find a desert village because they're always boring. They don't have anything at... Oh, look at that. Village. If I can find some diamonds, this trip will be even better. Oh, shit. Pillagers. I've noticed that a lot of villages I go to now have pillagers at them. Fuck it. I'll do a raid if I have to. It's not going to be difficult, is it? Get some free emeralds, don't I? Oh, enchanted book. What is that? Fire aspect. Eh, decent. While I'm protecting the village, I'll uh, rob the village at the same time. 
Oh, sorry, didn't mean to bother you. You can uh, stay safe. Ah, I'm looking for this. Oh no, the zombies are raiding the village. I was trying to protect it, but they're breaking in. Some emeralds in this chest. I'll take them. Is this what a farmer needs? I'll take it, just in case. I guess we could just have to replicate that. Just staring through the window. Uh, they just stare. <laughs> He's having a staring contest with the zombie. I have no idea where these pillagers are. I'm, I cannot see them whatsoever. Where are they? Some iron here. We'll grab that. Oh, there's a lot of iron. The more, the better. Yeah, I'm gonna take all of this because I can. I can use all of this for my own farm. Oh, spider decided to join in, did he? Oh, what? No, this is a completely separate- I just got another bad omen effect. It's gone now, it's not showing up on my screen. But that was a completely different raid going on at the same time. I don't know, this village is just doomed. I'm, go I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna go up here and see if there's any other village first. Yes! Oh my- how perfect was that? Right, yo, let's rob. Oh, nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta patch that one up, lads. I'll take these apples, thank you. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful. Yeah, th there's no one in this village. Absolute. Oh, no, there's one person. Is there another village up there? That's another village. I'm telling you, this has been an incredible looting session. Okay, so there's a village there, and it's kind of up here as well. Ooh, what's that kind of villager? Armorer. Orange glazed terracotta. Yeah, I think that's it. I think uh, that's all I'll take. You know, I don't want to take too much. Oh god, what the fuck? Quick, let's loot it before it burns down. <laughs> yeah, let's get the hell out of there. Yeah, I've never seen that before. A genuine house fire. Like, this is a genuine house fire. There's lava coming out the side. This village is going to come back tonight and he's going to be quite confused when he realizes that his home is just not there. At least the bed's still there. At least he still has somewhere to sleep, I guess. And that's just so weird. Like, how did that even happen? Why didn't that- why did that just happen right now if that's been coming out the wall for the whole- Oh, is it- I am so sorry. You know, I'll build you a house. Yeah, it's getting dark. I, I kind of feel bad. I'll, I'll get some dirt for you, you know, because dirt houses are underrated. I'll whip something up for you, okay? There you go, my good friend. The house is done. Let me give you a little house tour. It's not much, but it keeps you safe, and yeah, that's all it really needs, isn't it? So what do you- th uh, look, I know it's sad that your old home burned down, but come on, we've got to move on. That, that happened in the past. Let's go to the new home. Look, I know, I know. Look, it was a good house, but we need to move on. Ungrateful villager. I mean, look, it might not be much, but it's, it's cozy. Maybe one day he'll come to his senses and actually use his new house. Let's go back home and I'll use all of the stuff that I collected. There it is. Ultimate villager home. Looks like everyone's doing good. Everyone's working. Okay, so I can put uh, 21 iron in. Got a few work blocks that I'll put down. We need some variety, so I'll put that there. I've already got one of these in here, but eh. What's wrong with two? And I believe, yeah, I got a cartography table that I'll put there. And I'm going to start putting some stuff down in here. I can make so many cartography tables. Until I've, like, sorted the areas out, the rooms out, I'll just leave them there for now. Didn't get any flint, unfortunately. Kind of forgot about that. But for now, I'm going to try and make a farmer, and I think I'll do that in here. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why he's in here. There's nothing in here, mate. Bro, don't get in the way like that. Dog, go away. No, I think this should work, though. Yeah, it's indoors, but who gives a fuck? It's Minecraft, not bloody real life. Oh. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, God, they could break through iron doors. Since when? I thought that was... I mean, that's what I've had on my village this whole time. I think maybe they only break in when, like, you're at the door. Because that's never happened in my village. Never. So I'm gonna go sleep. And I'm gonna uh, come back and see if anyone uses it. Minecraft players might be cringing right now. I might be doing this all wrong. Oh, it's not working. Didn't think it would. Oh, no, no, it is working. It What? For now, though, I'm gonna feed my villagers with some bread. I will give you some. And I'll give you some. And I will give you some potatoes. But yeah, they're breeding. Oh, look at that. So many new villagers already. So for the last bit of the video, I'm just gonna continue to work on this. <laughs> I'm gonna like actually make these torches look presentable after I've after I've got rid of all this cobblestone. Put some more of these down. It's just looms and cartography blocks. Right, well we've got a villager in here. What is that a villager over there? Ah uh, 
See, I feel like that might impact the uh, carrot farm that I've got going on here. Looks like they're all going to sleep now, I think. This is all that's left now, this little bit of cobblestone. And it's done. All gone. Ready to be an ultimate workroom. So we got that room done for now. Of course, we need a bunch of different, you know, stuff blocks to put in there. I'll make some, I'll make some more. I'm going to go and put some down here though. I need to make sure that villagers are coming down here. Just for now, I'll put some here. Just to at least get some of them here, you know, in this area. And, and I don't know if I can do this, but maybe I can connect the two sides. So like every villager down here can go through. Let's just see if that's where this leads to. Oh, bloody hell. No, it doesn't. It leads to a fucking creeper. Holy shit. I don't like the idea of creepers living in my mansion through the wall that was only through one wood block oh a fit okay what does this lead to ah yeah so this is so look this is what's going on this oh there's three iron golems now awesome you've got this bit right and if you come down here this is where the workroom is i destroyed this i'll make it a little bit bigger we discovered a secret room now you can go down here there's a nice little tree add some add some life to the place and then I've made this bit an entrance now. So look, villagers, yes, they're actually using this bit now. So it's all connected. The, the, the first floor is all connected. You can get through each bit. I really like that. And you know what? What if I try and connect it through here? Is there anything through here? Oh, it's the... <laughs> That's what this place needs. It needs more like more accessibility. This is the ultimate workroom that I just work, you, you know, that I just did. Yeah, and then now they can come through here. Yeah, so that is going to be it for this video, everyone. It was a very successful video. This room is finished. Of course, there's going to be a lot more work blocks in here, but I've destroyed the ugly cobblestone that was in there. We've got a little farm. It's not much, and villagers keep walking over it, but it's working. We found a whole different room. We made another workroom. So, yeah, I'm happy with all the progress that we've made today. So, yeah, thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed please let me know on how i can make a farmer that will feed my villagers for me and uh yeah with that being said thank you for watching definitely subscribe if you're new here and i will see you all in my next video